Vi har haft ett projekt tillsammans med Finja Betong och en betongkonstnär som heter Jackie Persson. Där vi på Noseby skolan bild- och formklasserna har arbetat i betong. It opened my eyes to a lot of what magic kids hold when they in their fantasies and the intensity that they worked in and the enthusiasm. It's it was a wonderful experience. And welcome. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can make your own step-by-step -step concrete sculpture. The first step, we will look at what tools and materials are needed. Take it away. Avitatong, plattong och nät. Sällplast. Handska. Klubba. Målarknivar. Skyddsglasögon och munskydd. Fin betong och mixa. Ink och rent vatten. Vatten av visande skiva. Sax och plast. Dekorationer. You can find inspiration everywhere. In books, magazines, the internet, out in the city, out in nature, and your own fantasies. So let's get started. I thought a sun would be a fun example to do today. For me, the sun is a positive form. Of course, you choose what you would like to make. The next step is we are going to build a structure with net. I recommend for beginners to use floor net because it's easy to bend and it's easy for the kids to bend, especially. I put on my gloves first because this net has a tendency to bite sometimes. And I use wire cutters and I cut out a piece of net that I the size that I want. So now I have two pieces of net and I'm going to attach them on. When I attach them on, you can see that I left these nibs out and they are to help me fasten it to the other piece. If it's tight then you have a very strong sculpture. Now I have attached this part to the other part, and now it's time for Finja's cellplast. I set it in here while it is still open on two or three sides. I set it in there, and then I, with the needle nose plier, I fasten the nibs tightly to the other piece of net. The cellplast is very important for when I put concrete on top, it won't go through the net. So if you clip out some more net, and if you lay it diagonally to what you have already, you can see that the holes are covered with net, and that makes a very, very strong sculpture. Now I use a rubber hammer, and say for instance, I want this corner to be round. So I just bend it with my fingers, and then I can pound it. So it sits flat, because you want the pieces sitting flat. The finished structure should look like this, and it should be strong, to hold all the concrete.
Now the fun is gonna begin. I use Finja Fimbetong as my concrete when I sculpt because it has small stones and it makes it much easier to sculpt with. Remember to just mix enough concrete for the layer that you're going to be working on. Now I'm going to put the clean water into the concrete. Now for the first layer, the consistency should be a little dry. For example, if you make a big meatball here, you can see that it will hold its form. Now it's time, we're gonna have fun. Now it's time we're gonna make a big fat pancake here. So now I'm spanking the bubbles out of the concrete. The less ear bubbles, the better. I'm going to set my structure in and push in the concrete. And I'm gonna take my hand and go over the edges so it fastens it. Now I'm going to make smaller, thinner pancakes to put on the top. And I'm spanking them to get the air out and to flatten them out. And I start layering it on top of my net. So now I just have a little bit of net showing through. So I think it's good to see how thin it is. It should be like this thin to the net. Anything thicker is gonna be too much. I'm planning to do a sun here. So I'm gonna get the form a little ready. Now I'm going to make crisscross signs in the wet concrete so when tomorrow, the next day, when we set in the next layer of concrete, it will fasten real tight to it. This has to sit overnight. And when it sits overnight, it has to be an airtight plastic. And we wait until tomorrow.
first we're going to remove the plastic after it's been sitting for 24 hours. You can see the concrete is a little harder now. I'm going to take a paintbrush and paint water on the dry parts. Not too much water. I would take a paintbrush and shake it a little and then put it on. Now for the second layer, you can see the consistency is a lot looser. And so when I make a meatball, it doesn't hold its form so well. Now I take my second layer of concrete and I make thin pancakes and I press it in the first layer. It's real important it gets pressed in tight so it fastens to the first layer. Even on the sides, I go round. Now, the fun really begins because you can start adding details. So I'm going to make a sun face here. And so now I'm just gonna shape the face to how I want it to be. I use my work tools that I find very, very valuable. I really recommend that you use your tools as much as you can. Right now it looks kind of messy, but that's okay because I can sculpt it away. Okay. Now I have to figure out where the sun, where I want my son's head to be. And I can draw with the tool whereabouts. And I'm gonna draw on here too, where the eyes are gonna go, the nose and the mouth. And it's just for reference for me. With the eyes, I'm gonna use two glass pieces. I made a little concrete blobs here, and I'm going to set the glass pieces in that, like that, that. Sometimes when the concrete's a little wet, I will squeeze it out in my hand a little bit, just to get a more firmer shape that I want. So as you can see, the concrete is quite wet right now. So I'm gonna work on other parts now and I'll come back to the face and finish up more details. When working with the second layer, it's really important to treat this sculpture like it's a baby kitten. So when you pet it, you pet it softly. When your sculpture is finished, place plastic over it and make sure the plastic is airtight. Please do not move your sculpture for 24 hours. In a couple days after that, take the plastic off, brush on water or you can spray water on with a spray bottle. Put the plastic back on airtight and let the concrete harden for three weeks.
Okay, it's three weeks later and your concrete sculpture is dry. I noticed there's some concrete on the glass pieces in the eyes here, so I'm gonna clean them off. I take a rag, it has a little water on it. And then I take a knife and I'm scraping the concrete off the parts of the eye that I don't want the concrete to be on. Now your sculpture is ready for the garden or for your house, anywhere, and it's gonna last you your lifetime and even more. So enjoy and have fun. Eleverna tyckte det var fantastiskt roligt. Alla har ju verkligen klarat av det med bravur, men alla har också gått in med en bra inställning och vi vuxna som har jobbat med projektet har också sagt till dem att ni kommer klara av det och peppat dem verkligen. I'm really proud of them and they surprised the heck out of me because I didn't think that it would go this smoothly. And um, it's just overwhelming <laughs> to see a hundred and I don't know how many, 110 it is, sculptures with all of this energy.